Imagine you're strolling along a beautiful beach, feeling the warm sand beneath your toes, listening to the soothing sounds of the ocean. But what if I told you that hidden within this picturesque scene lies a silent threat that's impacting our environment in ways we're only beginning to understand? Welcome to the world of microplastics. What are microplastics? Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic debris that are less than 5 millimeters in size. They can come from a variety of sources, including the breakdown of larger plastic items like bottles and bags, as well as the deliberate addition of small plastic particles in products such as personal care items and clothing. These small plastic particles are pervasive in the environment, particularly in oceans and waterways, where they can pose serious threats to marine life and ecosystems. What are the sources of microplastics? Plastic pollution. This includes items like bottles, bags, packaging materials, and fishing gear that break down into smaller fragments over time due to exposure to sunlight, waves, and physical abrasion. Microbeads. These are tiny plastic particles often used in personal care products such as exfoliating scrubs, toothpaste, and cosmetics. They are designed to wash down drains and can end up in waterways, where they contribute to microplastic pollution. Synthetic clothing fibers. Synthetic textiles like polyester, nylon, and acrylic release microplastic fibers when laundered. These fibers are too small to be caught by wastewater treatment plants and can enter rivers and oceans. Industrial processes. Plastic pellets, also known as nurdles, are raw materials used in the production of plastic products. Spills and mishandling during transportation and manufacturing can lead to the release of these pellets into the environment. Tire wear. Tires contain synthetic rubber and other additives that wear down over time, releasing microplastic particles into the air and onto roads. Rainwater can then wash these particles into waterways. Paints and coatings. Some paints, coatings, and sealants contain microplastic particles for texture and durability. Over time, these particles can degrade and enter the environment. Municipal solid waste. Improperly managed landfills can release microplastics into the surrounding environment through leachate, wind dispersal, and scavenging by animals. These sources contribute to the widespread distribution of microplastics in various ecosystems, including oceans, rivers, lakes, soil, and even the air. What are the harmful effects of microplastics? Harm to marine life. Marine animals often mistake microplastics for food and ingest them. This can lead to physical harm, blockage of digestive systems, and internal injuries. Ingested microplastics can also accumulate in tissues and organs, potentially causing starvation and reproductive issues. Bioaccumulation and biomagnification. Microplastics can accumulate in the tissues of organisms over time. As predators consume prey containing microplastics, the concentration of these particles can increase through a process called biomagnification, leading to higher exposure levels for animals higher up in the food chain, including humans. Chemical contamination. Microplastics have a high surface area to volume ratio, allowing them to absorb and concentrate harmful chemicals such as pesticides, heavy metals, and persistent organic pollutants, POPs, from the surrounding environment. When ingested by marine organisms, these chemicals can leach into tissues and cause toxic effects. Disruption of ecosystem functioning. Microplastics can disrupt various ecological processes, including nutrient cycling, sediment transport, and the behavior of marine organisms. Their presence in marine environments may also alter microbial communities and ecosystem dynamics. Threats to human health. While the full extent of the impact of microplastics on human health is still being studied, there is growing concern about potential health risks. Microplastics and associated chemicals could enter the human body through consumption of contaminated seafood, drinking water, and even air. Research suggests that microplastics may cause inflammation, oxidative stress, and cellular damage, with potential implications for diseases and disorders. Environmental pollution. Microplastics contribute to environmental pollution, contaminating marine and terrestrial ecosystems, as well as freshwater bodies. They can persist in the environment for long periods, making them difficult to remove and posing ongoing threats to biodiversity and ecosystem health. How to prevent microplastic pollution? Preventing microplastic pollution requires concerted efforts at individual, societal, and regulatory levels. Here are some strategies to help mitigate the release of microplastics into the environment. Reduce single-use plastics. Minimize the use of single-use plastics such as bottles, bags, utensils, and straws. Opt for reusable alternatives like stainless steel water bottles, cloth shopping bags, and bamboo utensils. Avoid products with microbeads. Check the ingredient lists of personal care products such as exfoliating scrubs, toothpaste, and cosmetics to avoid those containing microbeads. 
Use natural fibers in clothing. Choose clothing made from natural fibers like cotton, wool, and linen instead of synthetic materials like polyester and nylon. Natural fibers release fewer microplastic fibers during washing and degrade more quickly in the environment. Install microfiber filters. Install microfiber filters on washing machines to capture synthetic fibers released during the laundry cycle. These filters can prevent microplastics from entering wastewater and ultimately reaching water bodies. Properly dispose of plastic waste. Dispose of plastic waste responsibly by recycling or disposing of it in designated waste receptacles. Avoid littering, as plastics left in the environment can break down into microplastics over time. Support legislation and policies. Advocate for legislation and policies aimed at reducing plastic pollution, such as bans on single-use plastics, restrictions on microbeads in consumer products, and improved waste management practices. Promote education and awareness. Raise awareness about the issue of microplastic pollution through education campaigns, community outreach, and social media. Encourage others to adopt environmentally friendly practices and support initiatives that promote plastic-free alternatives. Support research and innovation. Invest in research and development efforts focused on understanding the sources, impacts, and mitigation strategies of microplastic pollution. Support innovative technologies and solutions for reducing plastic waste and improving waste management practices. Conclusion. But it's not all doom and gloom. Each and every one of us has the power to make a difference. By reducing our use of single-use plastics, recycling responsibly, and supporting policies that aim to reduce plastic pollution, we can help stem the tide of microplastics in our oceans. Together, let's work towards a future where our oceans are free from the menace of microplastics. Join us in protecting our planet for generations to come. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay curious.